Oh, oh, it's so early. <laughs> so you started late. Uh, there was a uh, power outage earlier, so I couldn't set up earlier. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to Big Chef Tiny Kitchen, and we will be streaming cooking again. And today, of course, we will be cooking something not Filipino. We are going for uh, something that everyone likes, uh, something Thai. So, okay, I, I'm not gonna meander anymore. We are cooking. Uh, pad thai. <laughs> Starting screen. Yeah. I'm still gonna introduce the ingredients first so you get comfy with them. So, uh, today we are doing um, a pad thai. <laughs> now we have a stream. Yeah, we, have, we had a power outage earlier. So, you know. Okay, thank you, Po, for. Uh, contributing to the <laughs> uh, the feels challenge so I think uh, it's achievable in a few days <laughs> with, with the tons of support that you're getting I don't know why <laughs> but anyway okay so uh, we are gonna cook uh, pad thai so we are gonna cook pad thai that has chicken um, chicken shrimp and you know, tofu pad thai so we're gonna, of course, start start with our vegetables. So, uh, simple enough, our vegetables are... So, for the pad thai, we are using, uh, of course, uh, lemon. Of course, it's, it's for <laughs> it's for later. So, uh, it gives uh, citrusy sour notes uh, after we cook it. Then, I am thinking of also putting the rinds in, uh, since we washed it in this anyway. Um, of course, an onion because we don't have shallot, so we'll be, we'll be doing it with onions uh, and a little sugar, <laughs> a little garlic. So it's just a little garlic. Uh, I think uh, for from all the recipes that I've researched, there's not much garlic compared to uh, Filipino recipes. We tend to like uh, run out of garlic as much as we do with onions. But it seems uh, the Thai don't like uh, garlic too much. They, I think they are more on the texture and the aroma and less on the savory side. So uh, also we will be using um, spring onions instead of leek, uh, leeks or spring garlic because spring garlic uh, comes by so infre infrequently in the public markets here. So, and of course, uh, we can't forget our... Actually, I don't eat this uh, as is, but it's actually uh, quite a good dessert in the Philippines. It's um, tamarind, or in Tagalog, it's... Uh, in Tagalog, it's... <laughs> Sampalok, yeah. So, uh, this, uh, this is sweet tamarind. So, we will be extracting... Uh, uh, extracting the flesh and making it into a paste. So I, I've already started the process by uh, dipping I know it would look like cat shit but <laughs> uh, we already um, removed the rinds and uh, dipped the flesh into this um, it's, it was actually boiling uh, 20 minutes ago. So we are gonna keep it there for the next uh, 60 more minutes so that we can extract the flesh and um, cook off uh, some of the impurities so that we get a pure, uh, pure a puree for our sampalo or tamarind. And for the chicken, of course, we'll be using the same tamarind sauce with pandan. So we're also doing pandan chicken. We're going to we're going to do a medallion slices on our uh, chicken and we'll be wrapping them in pandan. And we'll be roasting them in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Is that good? Okay. So among other stuff, so let's put these guys away. These are just props. So I have to put them back in the box so that they don't dry out. I'm thinking of offering some to, to our neighbors because I really don't uh, eat uh, some palok. It's not that I detest some palok, I, I just don't really eat them. 
didn't grow up to eat them. Okay, so after that, so we, you already saw the sampalok under the water, and of course we will be doing tofu. Again, we'll be frying the tofu up. Uh, we are doing smaller size tofu so that when we slice it, uh, it'll have a, a perimeter that's crunchy and soft on the inside. So uh, it will be very fitting for our uh, what about this pad thai. So next, also we will be using. Uh, I don't know if they call this hibe or ano. I believe this is called hibe or ano. Uh, dried uh, tiny shrimp. So we'll be crushing this up and frying them in oil. So we will be doing a sequence fry. First, we will fry our uh, spring onion whites, then spring onion greens. We will get them to crispy, um, crispy texture. And then we will be frying these guys. Uh, we'll be crushing them first and frying them uh, so that the powder will come, I will be on top into uh, mixed with some peanuts. So we already got the oriental flavor ones, which would be fitting. So uh, we were lucky to get this one because this one, this one is the last one that's available in the supermarket yesterday. Okay, so other than that, of course, for the sauce we are doing, of course, um, the tamarind with some sugar, um, oyster sauce. So it, so um, the usual pad thai sauce is composed of, of course, the tamarind paste, um, cane sugar, which we didn't get yesterday because it wasn't available, and let me check. Okay, that, uh, I just saw my Discord and that is not a very pretty screenshot. <laughs> so uh, F you Discord, uh, F you, st uh, <laughs> S -U F -U, uh stream cord. <laughs> You just have to touch my stream. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, what else do we need? I'm just gonna make another display that's bigger. Give me output, output. So we're not, uh, we're not doing pandan rice for the sake of my wife because she doesn't like pandan that much unless it's cooked. So, okay. So again, with the sauce, we'll be doing um, uh, tamarind paste. So tamarind is already steeping there in the water. Um, and we'll be crushing the flesh and getting the paste from there, and uh, we will be uh, sautéing it along with some sugar. So we already measured a portion of sugar here. So we're not making a very big batch of the, the paste because we can do it anytime of course uh, and a little oyster sauce which is uh, I can just get it here uh, this is not sponsored no? we will be using the one that we uh, that uh, my brother-in-law bought for us but we already had oyster sauce here so we'll be using that as well so other than that of course fish sauce so those are the flavors that are needed so that you can develop the pad thai taste. So I think for now we should be chopping our veggies first. So separating them again according to of course dryness. So we'll be starting with our spring onions. So also uh, since there are kittens there, we will, uh, there are kittens here. Uh, they are just beside me. Uh, we won't be using the food processor today, so we are going old school and using a mortar and pestle. So we have a marble mortar and pestle here that I haven't used for, I think, uh, two years because we already had the food processor. So it will be a very nostalgic and <laughs> old school trip. So let's just separate our whites from our greens. Just uh, take off some of the dirt. So how are we, how have you been doing, Bo? Have you taken the weekend weekend off or are you working?
I think he's busy. Okay, but anyway, I hope we got we get more people here. Oh, we already organized the Discord for that, the other one, the new one. So, of course, while we while I am cleaning up this uh, spring onions, of course you can support our channel by uh, subscribing and following to this Twitch channel, and also subscribing to our YouTube channel where we will be reposting our past videos and doing some highlights from our gaming and our cooking. Also, we will be uploading some new content in a few weeks. So I am still listing down some recipes that need to be redone. So a redone for the camera instead of the stream. So um, you're going to see it first there. Also, you can support us by uh, supporting our unrelated social media, which is TikTok. So that's looping third. So I'll be... I Loading again some magnification content there and also you can visit our about page so that you can see uh, you can see our discord link so the discord link is behind the big chef tiny kitchen logo so if you would like to be a member of the discord channel and be uh, notified of all the streams that are ongoing and will be ongoing in the future uh, please do uh, follow that discord also, uh, if you want to support the channel, of course, there is a PayPal uh, PayPal link under the that guy image on our about. So, if you, uh, this is just voluntary. So, if you would just want to support the channel, if you're liking the content so much that you uh, would like to support the channel, of course, you can support me there. So, we are suspending our buy me a coffee for now because there's been trouble between uh, buy me a coffee and PayPal. So for now we're going there. Okay, so let's separate this white and the greens. I did not mean to sound racist uh, with that, but let's separate the, the green parts. There we go. Okay, so, so the greens will go partly on top and some of them will also go with deep fry. So let's just uh, take out some. Will be putting back into the stack and some of them that will be going on top so for for the for the one that will be uh, going into the stir fry we will be slicing them in very generous lengths so about about two to three inches there we go so this will be a stir fried until wilted, so that it will uh, give, give that roast uh, spring onion flavor to our pad thai. So let's just get two bowls for that. We are using too much bowls today. Okay, so let's just put it there. I think I'm putting it with the onions later, so since uh, the stir fry calls for both of them. So let's just bundle them up into a nice bundle. So there, there actually won't be much cutting today, aside from, of course, the chicken and uh, the veggies. But the shrimp will be cooking them, just uh, cooking them in butter, butter and salt. Then, of course, peeling and adding them to the pad thai afterwards. So that we can use part of this for our stir-fried onions as well. There we go. Let's save on the washes. Start by chopping our long parts into crunchables. <laughs> crunchables. And 
save for the white part. For the white parts, let's do a little bit of a diagonal cut. For uh, fancy purposes, but uh, not too fancy. Just set this aside and the weight for and have it wait for the frying later. So again we'll be frying this first, then frying the shrimp next. Ah, I mean frying the dried shrimp next. So this will be mostly for toppings. But toppings uh, that are crisp up. So the ones in the stir fry will be giving us the green color, while this one will be giving us the brown uh, color with the crisp, crispy texture. And let's get to the onion. Let's go garlic first. You just want a very fine slices for the garlic. Magpapandan chicken. Ano siya? I-air fryer ko lang siya. Sa mga 20 minutes. Yung paggawa lang sa kanya yung medyo matagal. Ano pa yun? Nagsisteep pa yung sauce. those guys away. So when we stir fry that, so I'm just keeping it uh, attached to each other by a thin thread so that when we stir fry this, they will separate nicely and not get burned. Just like that. <laughs> we actually can't do that all the way because I am afraid to cut my fingers. Trauma. this to crisp up once we uh, fry them, we stir fry them, and separate of course. Is the onion so we want a fine dice for the onions and since they're going together normally with these and have them come in one bowl so less washes 
less washing. Although with the less, le I am not sure if it's less washing because we still end up with a ton of uh, uh, what do you call this? A ton of uh, dishwashing after our streams. Oddly enough. So I want to do a very thin, very thin slice with these, uh, just julienne them. So ends come off, and skin comes off. Uh, if you have dirt on them, just wipe it away. We're going to cook it anyway. Let's just wipe the dirt away. Don't know what why uh, you are so dirty today, onion. gets rid of the uh, irritating liquid also <laughs> to uh, take all this when you wipe it away. So again, our uh, white Siamese cat, uh, of course Siamese are white, our white Siamese cat uh, gave birth to four healthy gray kittens. So we weren't actually expecting uh, the coloration because we were actually expecting the father to be the other uh, uh the other Persian. So we have a one yellow Persian and one uh, black black Persian cat. So we're actually expecting uh the yellow one to be the father because he was more promiscuous at that time. But it turns out it turns out is it the father? Ooh, issues. Okay, let's just remove one layer. Remove the stale uh, parts. And so, of course, uh, if you remember some of our, our tips before, uh, if you're using a carbon steel knife, don't slice. Bakit? Should I do IKEA meals as a live stream on some other days? Because uh, IKEA just opened up a store here in the Philippines. So I would like to do maybe IKEA meatballs again. So we have that one on YouTube, but we can do that on live stream. Like we did with the other recipes that we did. So just thin slices. So it's better to follow the slope to get thinner slices. And of course, don't point it this way. <laughs> if you're if you're keen on keeping your hands, unless you're ready, of course. Because if not, uh, the piece will slip, and you will lose your nails. Just like oh, what happened to me before. Oh, But I want to go to Ikea. And very important, always have a very sharp knife. Sharp knives are practically safer than uh, dull knives because they don't push uh, as much. Although uh, <laughs> my accident happened with a sharp knife, so uh, I'm speaking with a little irony. So as thin as you can, of course, so that it would stir fry in uh, my yard. Uh, what do you call this? Even me. So there we go. That's the stir fried part. Now we'll. We're actually quite uh, done with the Misan Plus. So next we'll be grinding our peanuts in our. So we're going uh, uh, non, non seafood first and seafood last. So we're going with the peanuts. And wet last, so we're going. We're going. We're going to crush our uh, paste here before we stir fry it and prep the sauce. Okay, so 
let's put this aside for now. So, after everything, we can prep the chicken and the shrimp. So, we have six pieces of shrimp that I am not keen on. Um, but I am keen on cleaning them, but after that, uh, well, let's, let's just see. Okay. We're going for the chicken now. So, we're slicing the chicken two ways. So, for the pad thai, we'll be slicing them into thin slivers. Then for our pandan chicken, we'll be uh, cutting the breasts into uh, triangular medallions, a uh, bit of a stew cut, so that it can cook evenly uh, with the pandan flavor and the tamarind sauce. So let's prep. I think we need to prep the tamarind sauce first. So let's uh, go with the chicken. Okay, so let's take out the citrus because we need this after. We don't need this during the cooking, we need this after. Okay, so I think uh, chicken could go here since it's clean anyway. Okay, it's starting, a let, uh, it's starting to smell a lot like chicken. So we've dried this already and they're ready for frying, although it's a bit uh, tearing up again. So let's just get rid of the extra water so that we don't get splattered later. And it helps the tofu get harder. Although we got the firm one anyway, so good for that. We're good for that. I think we could slice it a bit more so that we can get four sections instead of just two. So that it's easier to mix it with the pad thai. So when you're uh, slicing tofu, since it is uh, quite delicate, just put down the towel on my hand. So you're slicing it on your hand, so you have to feel the knife, of course. Because if you don't, you end up destroying the very pretty layering of our tofu. So just go and push. Use the weight of the knife, knife to your advantage. Use, of course, the sharpness of your knife. And there you go. Uh, clean cut right there. And let's get rid of some of the water inside because uh, eventually there will still be water inside. We're just going to have to uh, eliminate the ones on the, s the droplets on the surface so that we don't get splattered with oil. So this as well. It helps to have a very sharp nice knife for this one. So let's uh, get that bit dab that water away dab that water away so we've doing we've been doing this for 31 minutes and the do you want this again tamarind has been steep steeping for quite a while around one hour already so i think we read we can uh, prepare the sauce already but first let's go for the chicken and the shrimp. So chicken comes in from our from our uh, sink. It's uh, defrosted already. And it's uh, spreading too much water. So we're using every single one. So so, so since we we're done with the vegetables, we can use our chopping board. So we use uh, just one chopping board for everything that we do. So we just clean them properly by end of the day. Not by end of the day, by end of the adopting session. So let's just get it on the tape. Because this is around 1 kilo but might be using just around 750. 
I'm not sure yet. I have to check. But I am also bringing this along to work tomorrow as my lunch. Along with the pad thai, of course. Because <laughs> why cook when you can bring it to work? Yeah, we can use all of them. So, go there. Chicken goes boom, boom, bye, bye. So, we're doing slivers first, then medallions afterwards. So, slivers. As you can see, they're still quite frozen in the inside, but they are manageable now compared to earlier. Although during the blackout, I think this softened a bit. May have helped quite a bit. Okay. So when doing our slivers, we do sushi style. So let's do some like this. So very thin slivers so that when we cook our pad thai, it cooks uh, rather fast compared to just cooking it very thick. So I got this one from Joshua Weisman. I'm just quoting with Joshua Weisman here. Okay. There we go. Just very, very thin slivers that can cook for around uh, a few seconds. There we go. I think we are using around two breasts for the pad thai. And the rest would be for our kind of chicken. There we go. That's first batch, first breast. Let's go for the second breast. I think we should get grab a smaller one without the tender, so that we can use the rest for pandan chicken, which is so good with rice. Or let's just grab a tender. in just two long strokes for them. There you go. Of course, after this, I will be washing my hands because we don't want to cross-contaminate anything. And we'll be doing shrimp next. Let's grab the tender for this one. Tender, bye-bye. And the tender for this one. Since we are uh, technically cooking it to tender, uh, the, the breasts won't actually get tough. That's why we can use, we can just use the tenders for our... Hmm. I am not doing the number one rule uh, when it comes to chopping. Not tucking my hand that properly. So there you go. I almost got myself. Okay, so for the medallions, uh, let's roll it a bit and slice. So we want to get uh, larger cuts from this so that we can wrap them properly in uh, pandan. So around that big. Since this is small, let's put it there. Uh, this big is good. And so we can get around four to five uh, pieces for each breast, which are currently this size. So let's always chop up from the smooth side. So that's the outer part of the breast. Because all the fibers align there. <laughs> and we can see if the knife is dull already. Mine is apparently not. 
Tuhan mo sa partner niyo. Again. So this one has a tender still. So let's get rid of the tender and put them or assign them to our uh, what is anti file. <laughs> And roll and size. There you go. And last one. The difference, of course, with a sharp knife and a not so sharp knife is if you cut your chicken with a very dull knife, you won't be getting a very perfect uh, angle like that because it will crush all the membranes from the skin in the meat. So that's a nice clean cut right there. Nice clean cut. Uh, I want to get thicker. So nice clean cut over here. Good severance on the members, oh, on the membranes. So let's put, let's put uh, them on each. Other things that they'll, they'll be going. On. So let's put this together with our pandan. And let's just start wrapping a little later after we finish the sauce. So we are gonna salt this first. Salt, brine it. I dry brine it so that. It can uh, barbecue as easily. So we're technically do doing a barbecue. Let's put it here. Let's put uh, anything where the pad tie will be. We'll go on this one. So we'll be salting both of them. So for now. Let's get our shrimp. So for the shrimp, we're just uh, working out the vein in the back and cooking them with the skin. Or I think I do something like that. I think I'd be doing something better. I want to rock my shrimp uh, one. So I'll be getting a fork, or, or of course you can use two, two, two sticks or barbecue sticks. The swahe was so nice when I picked it up yesterday. Still nice though. <laughs> See my so of course always get, get ready to get your hands dirty so we're leaving uh, the heads and the skin here and the uh, the flesh will be going here with the chicken since we are cooking them very thoroughly today I'm not worried about any extra damage So for seafood, you just twist, although I'm already getting some leakage of the brain matter, so I have to get that in. So, sayang! <laughs> That's flavor right there. And get the skin off. We're gonna stir fry the skin later before we start pad thai so that we can 
get the shrimp flavor and the umami from the seafood. If you know what I mean. Okay, so that's how fast we can take off the skin of your <clears throat> swahe or shrimp. So uh, in getting uh, the guts out, usually you have to count one, two, three. The third um, segment here, just take a, just gingerly push out. There you go. And if you don't get everything, you can get it on the second one. Just go deep and push out. There you go. So I think that's why it's clean. So we don't we don't want this one. So we're putting it aside. There. Reforming the shrimp and putting it there. So that it, it can be salted as well. We'll be salting it a little bit. To dry it out so that when it's stir fry, it sears as early as instantly. So let's get rid of this guy. Because we don't want that, that's all dirt. Oh shit. Although um in the Philippines we don't actually clean them much. It's only been recently that people in the Philippines practice cleaning shrimp. So let's uh, get this dry by Put it somewhere safe. Okay. Next day, so twist the head again, just like a lobster, twist the head. Doesn't matter, you're still gonna get any spillage anyway. Because uh, that's just how the head works, head of the shrimp works. So that's actually the fatty part that gives off the strong umami flavor from the seafood. And after the, this, we will be washing our hands with stainless steel soap or the sides of our uh, what do you call this? the sides of our sink uh, just because I don't know what reaction happens between uh, the sink and the smelly taste or uh, smell, smell fishy smell so it tends to remove it properly okay you got most of it out and get the tail there you got it there Got everything. All the guts is out. All the guts are out. Man. Let's be properly grammatical here and just pull. Better if we put if we keep those uh, in the head. Although if you cook the head and taste that, it would be amazing. Of course, the heads in the skin are good for marinara sauce. Uh, anything that needs a shrimp base, like uh, what do you call this? Um, chowder. Um, Laksa. So we might do some of those in the future as well. I'm just not a very patient person that um, takes the skin off. Uh, if I'm actually really hungry and there's just a un, what do you call this un, un I don't know, uh, intact uh, fried shrimp uh, in the menu. If I eat that, I mean I'm eating the skin as well. That's how uh, that's how I usually do in seafood restaurants. <laughs> that's why I don't usually eat shrimp. But uh, the fact is, I really, really, I really, really like shrimp and crabs. And, but it, they're just uh, too much work. Too much work for so little uh, reward. Especially the, the crabs in the Philippines, they're not that big. They're so tasty, but they're not that big. They're like, uh, if you're um, 
uh, familiar with the Dungeness crab and the king crabs. They're actually quite uh, the bigger cousins of our crabs here in the Philippines. Before you get satisfied with your dinner, I think you're gonna have around two to three. Uh, with the uh, Alaskan king crab, I think you're just good. One family is good with one. <laughs> be all efficient in the end anyway. So up next actually we're doing our uh, pantai sauce already. So we'll be uh, moving the stove here from the countertop. So if I hope if uh, this uh, channel gets big I hope I can get a place that has a uh, an island countertop because oh I just tore the tail, sorry. <laughs> it's such a huge deal to shoot uh videos with an island countertop because uh currently I'm shooting in the table on a table in front of the streaming computer so so at times you get uh, the streaming computer quite wet with uh oils so not very healthy for the computer itself. We're also having prob still having problems with our uh, IP cam, so yeah. Uh, I hope in the future when we get more cams, uh, I hope we can do wireless connectivity. So even if, if I got the premium app already, which is a uh, Droid X. Uh, we're having difficulty with the uh, IP address assignment, so we'll have to figure out that out soon so that I'm not limited by the range of my uh, cable and the range of and the reach of the so, uh, so, so called rig that we have. So it's just a uh, kind of like a lamp, uh, lamp arm that's mounted atop our. Our stream that's connected to a cell phone that I had before. It's a Huawei P fifty Pro, so it's actually a very good camera. So I'm not giving it up anytime soon, and it's actually quite convenient to film with a camera, a uh, cam phone instead of a camera because all the finicky stuff of the camera is just, uh, I think, above me for now. But if we are actually. I'm actually um, looking forward to improving the channel some more. So, of course, if you'd like to support the channel, if you like the content, just like Poe does, <laughs> he's pretty much pretty much our number one fan right now. So, if you're really uh, into these types of content, so of course you can subscribe to our uh, page. So that helps us pretty much in achieving our goal of going uh, call this, sustainable with our Twitch. Uh, and of course, uh, you can also support us directly by, by not buying us a coffee because buying me a coffee currently is suspended. Uh, by of course supporting us through our PayPal donation link. So if you really, really wish to see me do this every day, of course. <laughs> Although cooking is my uh, one of my passions, uh, I have to work. Everybody has to work. Of course. But I got bills to pay. <laughs> but anyway, 
So we are done with the shrimp and chicken. We'll be doing the sauce in a few minutes. I'm just washing my hands so that we don't get anything contaminated. And we're washing the tools already. I'm washing my hands with enough, sorry, soap in the hunter uh the sink because stainless steel gets rid of the nasty stuff from the seafood in shellfish. Yeah, chicken on a wood log, it's actually doable. But most of the woods used in the kitchen anyway are sealed with food grade oil, so you don't have to worry. You just have to reapply it for every, uh, maybe every now and then. 
says it washes off eventually. Okay, so let's just see if it's still sharp. Yeah, it is. We're, done. Yep. We're just putting it in a sheet. We're done with the slicing and stuff. So Misan Plus is done. Now we are gonna crush before we go. <laughs> Our baby cat is demanding to get out. She's tired of her kids already. <laughs> So that we avoid the smell of the shrimp intermingling with our dried, uh, I mean cooked uh, peanuts. We are doing the peanuts first, so crushing it the regular way, long regular but still okay. So I think the oriental flavoring we will add. Uh, led itself to improving the flavor of our pad thai. Ang galing naman ang 3D printer namin. So we'll be sauteing half of this along with our uh, tamarind sauce. <laughs> so chicken on a wood block, that's how my mom does it, that's how our house helper does it. It's still alive, so that's how I'm doing it. Ah, madali daw ma ano? Ma contaminate. We actually eat eggs raw on rice, or just eat it as is. I remember doing that when I was young. I, I like I really like the flavor, flavor of that. I am not sure if you are agreeable to that too, because I know you detest eggs. Yes, please. She's very uh, attached to my wife lately because she gave birth with uh, the help of my wife. I wasn't there because I was I was in the office. It's better. That's a good enough crush. So let's put it in here. Okay, so I, I don't know where that uh, spring onion came from. So that way. Wow, and that means chow. There you go, this would be easier. I think I'd go crush 
summer roughly so that we get more texture. So we're gonna use half in the sauce and half as toppings later. I don't know. Crush it somewhere. Just, just a mild crush. Before we put the rice on shrimp. Tulog pero nakatingin sa iyo si Baby Bird. Ayun, ayun. Ayun, ayun. Ayun, ayun. Ano yung ginagawa ni Lagan? Or in English? What the fuck are you doing there? The scent of the peanut butter is getting stronger. Okay, at least you fill that wine gingerly enough so that So we can actually include this, these nuts, these nuts, <laughs> sorry, just uh, wanted to say the meme. So these nuts, we want to include them with our shrimp, which will be a deep frying first, before we include into our pad thai. So it, this will be a topping as well, so we have to crush it really, really finely. Just like what you do with palabo, which you might be doing someday. So by the way, uh, they actually recommended that um, skin dried uh, shrimp was used, but I think I like the flavor of fried uh, intact shrimp more than when it's just the, the meat. You're missing out on so much if you're not including the skin. Although as they say, as they say, the shrimps are the cockroaches of the sea, but they're so uh, still so damn, still so uh, damn amazing. Tan 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 tan. Hello. Huh. My family just called. <laughs> ano ko? Gumagawa ako ng pad thai. Okay. Nag-ano ko? Nagka-crush ako na shrimp. Ano? Uh, hibe. eBay. Ano, if a fry ko siya mamaya pan topping dun sa ano. Pad Thai. Hindi pa ako actually nagsistart. <laughs> Congratulations. Ay, nandito siya. Hindi dahan niyo mga baby. Nag-meet 
Like yung Mew Mew na yung mga baby. Tsaka si Yui, ay ano, Jellyfish Yay! Beat. 
like this. Let's just erase it a little bit and hope we don't get disconnected. Uh, focus on Cookie Muncher! Cookie Muncher! Welcome to the screen! Again, we're cooking pad thai. With pandan chicken. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap pandan later for the chicken. We're gonna air fry it for 20 minutes. sila bum bumibisita lagi. Para mga tito-tita. <laughs> Nababad ko na ito. Ano? Mortar and Pesel. Like, uh, I haven't heard from you in so long. 
to get a nice nice set and cutting board but I found a dog who wanted to adapt so well <laughs> of course it's the love of your life first before any knife ki knife kits. By the way, what were you planning to get? Right next. Oh, Papa, right next. Welcome back to the stream. I haven't visited in such a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna You're just gonna gingerly push them into the body of water and cover them up for five minutes. My parents and my sister actually called, that's why I know you're hearing them in the background. I don't know how to get the thing to pick up your hands. Not now, we do it. Let's put it on low. Bird! I'm going to throw it in my baby. Understand how you feel. <laughs> ano, ah, uh, wala siya na knife set, di ba? Nakita niya yung uh, dog he wanted to adopt, so ayun. to the most pungent. We're starting with uh, our starting with uh, <laughs> we're starting with our green onions, the white, then we're gonna fry our tofu, then our hebe. Then start with the sauce. Hmm? Nudes are almost <laughs> noodles are almost done. So we're just gonna cool them down in cold water, under running cold water, so that they don't cook way past al dente. knife set are you getting? Are you gonna get a wool stove or what? Don't 
to this if you don't have asbestos skin. You're gonna injure yourself. a mix of canola in the high temperature oil. No, I mean it's a mix of canola that's a high temperature oil and a little bit of the olive oil. Just to give up a little bit of the nuttiness. So again, we're frying firm tofu so it doesn't disintegrate when it's stir fry it later. Paano pala magpadala ng ano, LPC pupunta sa Singapore? Kasi yung... Huh? Ay, hindi pala. Ay, hindi pala LPC. Ah, anong courier ang ginagamit pupunta sa Singapore? Papunta dyan. Yung ano kasi... Ah, LPC din. Ah, ayun lang. Meron kasi magpapadala si ano, Kuya Michael sa Singapore. Kaso, hinihingan ko na sila ng resibo sa ano, LBC. Itong item. Hinihingan sila ng resibo sa LBC. 
Ay, oh, ano. <laughs> Sige, oh, muna. Description item siya. Hmm, that's a gold disc in where you're looking for. And you're only gonna get that in firm gold Nag-strain na yung mata mo para mag-adjust dun sa lens. Oh, ever since. Di sini masih yang grado aku ever since. Nagpagawa ako sa old days dati, nagpa-check ako ng grado, sabi nila, tumaas ng konti yung kanan ko. Pero nung nilagay nila ng ano, 180 yung kanan na hilo. So, sabi nila, ay, mas, mas, mas swap pa din daw yung 175. <laughs> Parang nadidisorient ako pag ano, nag-180 yung kabila. 
Baka daw dahil doon sa difference. Sa so, kanyang kinasinayan ng mata ko. So, ayun. Uh, hindi, ano, pinalitan nila yung lens, pero yung pareho lang yung grado. <laughs> Palit kasi yung frame sa kalens. Ba't ba sa kahitong? I'm going to fry the other corners and we're going to proceed with our sauce. So that, that's actually the main part of uh, our <laughs> our uh, stream today, uh, doing the sauce. We've been steeping the, uh, the, we've been steeping the tamarind for about one, uh, about two hours now. So uh, once we uh, started the sauce, Which is a Meron ako ano eh, hypo Meron, meron kami na ano, meron kami na foreign na ano uh, meron, meron akong foreigner na ano, follower na ano 
Laging nasa stream. Hi po! Okay, we're all good. Okay, ang alin yung disinfector? Ooh! You like? Okay, maganda yun pag ano, pag nagla-lunch, pag nagla-lunch ako sa office. Okay, let's lower the heat to about uh, low because we don't want to burn our sprinklers. Let's just have it cool down a bit. But cool enough, let us try a view of green onion. We're just gonna crisp this up in a very low heat so that it doesn't burn. And it flavors the oil before we put in the hebe. So once we get the hebe in, there will be a um, an offset of the smell, so it won't smell as bad as like if you're frying it, uh, frying it there without the onion. Actually, how we did uh, half of the tare from our uh, no uh, half of the aroma oil. I don't remember the term for that. Ay sinabig patay ng ano? Sabi. Paano kuri yata ganon? Wilting now and turning brown. So let's get ready to take it out. There is a fine line between uh, just. What time tayo G sa fast mo? Um. Igi, tinatanong ni Fen kung what time tayo G sa fast mo daw. Mamaya. Gabi daw pwede siya sa kain. Ano pa lang naman? 9 pa lang? Mga 10 pa akong natatapos. Around 10.30 pa akong natatapos dito. Bilis lang yun. Okay. Let this crisp up for a bit. And take it out.
Okay, so this goes on top later. And let's try the hebe. it so that I can get the seed out and I'm gonna extract everything Yeah, I do. I need to. Yeah, I need to. I, I need to cook the pad thai first so that I can get the strength to play fast more later. So we're just crushing it by hand. You don't. You don't have to crush it uh, any other way. And you can. We'll be straining it on to our cookware. Just training it to get every little bit of it out, except the seeds, because we don't want the seeds. So aside from using it for the pad thai, we are also coating our chicken in the tamarind sauce. So there wasn't actually any any available tamarind sauce in the supermarket, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Fibers are off, and most of the pulp is already inside. 
And we will be cooking this down. Setting half of it aside to use for our pad thai. No, a uh, uh, third of it. Uh, two thirds of it for the pad thai and one third for our pandan chicken. So we're actually on the, on the home stretch now because this is the longest part you have to do. Okay. So the spring onions and the hibe, the fried hibe in the oil will also flavor this. So it will give uh, that extra umami flavor. We're going to reduce it to a brown paste. Paste like we would. But we will be adding our ingredients now. Just dissolving it first. So we are, we are using a variant of the tamarind that's found in the Philippines and not in Thailand, but they're just the same. We use this also for sinigang. Yeah, I hope we didn't get the seeds in. <laughs> I hope we strained them all out. Okay, so we can start reducing this, lower the heat and just simmer. If we find any solids, we can take it out. And to just bolster the flavor a bit, we will be adding a little bit of vinegar. So I want to use uh, apple cider vinegar because it's very pungent. Just a little bit. So stir so that it doesn't burn. Because uh, this tends to burn really fast. Mmm. Ah, see you. Na isip ko sa kanya si Nigam. We want it of uh done at a very low heat. Because we don't want to burn, burn off all that uh, sourness. Then we're going to black balance it with the sweet after it reduces. So this actually cooks practically fast. Or if you're doing uh, that with uh, a store bought tamarind paste, then it's quicker. Just use the tamarind paste. None. So let's reduce it to a darker color. So let's just stir. To prevent the burning. getting a little bit thicker now so that so now we can add our sugar lower the temps uh, you the sugar so the sequence is sugar then oyster sauce then the uh, patis or We're doing a little bit of the soy sauce as well to add color because we want this to be a little bit darker.
And of course, you can't miss out with the piece. And oyster sauce. So that's actually the main component of this uh, Thai sauce. I actually wanted to do mahat. I actually wanted to do cane sugar, but cane sugar is hard to come by in supermarkets here. It's mostly uh, from Asian grocers. She's not much here. I think we're gonna add some more sugar. Have to offset all that uh, saltiness and sweet and sour. and it will be all done. So, we'll be wrapping the pandan chicken first and setting it for 20 minutes on our air fryer. Oh, that's, the, that's the dark color that I want to see. That is properly the, the pad thai sauce that we want. So we're just gonna transfer it to a smaller container. Um, I'm gonna transfer a little bit here so that we can taste our panda chicken here and not contaminate our hot type. So we're gonna leave it here to cool for a bit. Because we're gonna start with the stir fry. And we're going to do our pie thai first. So I'll just cover it up. And I think I'm going to push it uh, to the side first. Because, of course, I want you to see how, we, how I would wrap the chicken. Hopefully, I don't feel. <laughs> You know, I practice these things in my head, and that's it. Mm, sorry about the shape. I discard it. I break the time. continue first while we're waiting for that so for this one it's just basic so we're just we salted it already we're marinating both the shrimp and the chicken so we're gonna stir fry them later so let's put a little bit of this our sauce patay sauce in so that they would cook nicely so let's get a spoon for that uh, we already salted it, so the next step is just putting on cornstarch. So a liberal, liberal amount of cornstarch so that it doesn't catch on to the pan when we uh, when we fry it later. So let's just separate the shrimp a bit. We're cooking them through anyway, so we're getting, we're achieving the heat that we want for both at the same time since it's a very thin cut of meat. There you go. 
sorted and ready. So it's just gonna marinate now. So we will be preparing our pandan chicken. So pandan chicken, here we go. Just gonna put the whole thing. So putting in everything inside. There you go. Let's just put it here so that we don't get drops everywhere. Mix it a little bit. And after mixing it thoroughly so that you can get every single part of the chicken coated. Okay, let's do the pandan. Pandan wrap. Okay, let's just uh, gingerly take off some of what the dirt that has remained, <laughs> although it's mostly just a uh, dry pandan leaf. And let's start with this. So I think we're using around half on each. No, we're using a full on each. Okay, so let's put in around two medallions of chicken that had been coated with our sauce. It's better to have uh, the pandan uh, spread first and roast so that will give off the flavor that we want. So I think two is enough. I think two can fit. Two medallions can fit if we cut it to size as we did before. So and let's wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap. I think we have short leaves. <laughs> I think we got short leaves, so we're doing this commando style. There you go. So it's okay to expose part of the chicken. So that, that part will crisp, crisp up more than the other sides. But if you're done, you can tuck it inside. And there you go. There's one pandan chicken right there. Ready to cook. So let's just put it on the side. Let's have it on a separate container so that you can decant all the sauces off. The pandan aroma will off gas uh, into the chicken and you hopefully get a very moist and very. Huh, we have a dirty pandan stock, we were taking that out. I'm taking out the dirt first before you wrap. bruising at the same time so that release the flavor just like Filipino dishes uh, I think Thai dishes are very preparation heavy as with Korean so most I think most Asian countries prepare their food more then they cook. Unlike uh, the, the cooking activity heavy ones like in, say, stews from um, northern parts of the world. Okay, let's get a small and a big one and put it inside. So let's do that again, uh, like sushi. <laughs> so wrap this around. And then right angle to the other side. Other side, other side. That doesn't droop. If you have ties in the chat, if 
we have ties with each other. Am I doing it right? Because I'm doing it as practically as I can. There you go. One more chicken to lay up in this pandan. We're gonna weigh it down with its own weight so that it doesn't uh, flare out. <laughs> You're not Thai. Well, at least you tried. That's of course uh, the goal. At least you tried. But anyway, I'm actually quite excited of how this will turn out. Because we're air frying them instead of doing it in the oven. So it's usually done. Uh, open fire because since there's a protection for the meat it doesn't burn as much so it's more of a, like a Thai barbecue with all the, all the requirements so if you're barbecuing something of course it has to be brined like uh, it has the sour component the sweet component just like any uh, barbecue in general So we're just letting them through a little bit so that we get the crispy edges on the uh, crispy edges. Oh, the sauce is actually quite quite aromatic. I feel like I'm gonna eat chilingam later. <laughs>
uh, the second batch of the leaves and doing the last one so that we can go ahead with our plan. washed. <laughs> Just uh, pat them down with a uh, kitchen sheet. This is just uh, this is the, this has the same feels as uh, unwrapping lumpia wrappers. <laughs> pandan ko yan Nabawas na po sa ang pandan Huwag ka dito We had We used to have a pandan plant Outside our unit But there's uh, There's this uh, visiting cat That always keys on the pot, so it ended up dead by the third month. That was actually uh, around the time that we got uh, our first cat bird. So I think it was uh, it was sort of a suitor. Guy, 
Tomo to. So, okay, so after we dry the, the pandan, it's actually nice to put on rice, but not today. Put on rice when it's cooking, but not today. So just be aware though that the uh, younger leaves tend to break more than the older ones. Uh, try to get the older leaves first, so they reserve the younger leaves for dessert. Yeah, they put pandan in desserts also. So. Okay, there we go. We can wrap, start wrapping again. Wrapping as in our uh, wrapping gifts, not wrapping as in wrapping, you know, you know what's wrapping. Okay, so get a bigger piece and roll. So I think with uh, our, the number of our pandan leaves, we can do one. That's a very toasty dude right there. <laughs> Touch it in, set it down. This is meant for, I think, something smaller, but let's try something big. Hope it survives. I think it won't. The shot, uh, let's see. It did most of the way, but it still did. So, bravo to you. <laughs> o order na yan, pero pag sa akin, wala pa akong, wala pa akong patay kasi hindi ko pa nasa standardized to recipe na to. <laughs> Kakaano ko pa lang sa kanya kanya, kakaaral ko pa lang for the past few days. Tapos ngayon ko pa lang talaga siya gagawin ito practice. Order na yan. Masarap yung Pad Thai actually ng Mai Thai. Sa akin. Ah, o. Oh, Jato Jack pala. Jato Jack. I think meron nun sa Mega Mall. So masarap yung ano nila. Satay at saka... Hmm... Uh, Pad Thai. There's so many left over to. Okay. Ah, meron kayo in order. Ano pangalan nung shop? Dahil sinabi niya na rin para ma-shower at natin. Okay. Oh, update mo muna, tapos laro tayo. Man. Yeah. Medyo ano na, maliit lang naman yung update bills lang yun. Parang uh, around... Naka ano ka naman, naka SSD ka naman, di ba? One, one so yung pangalan, a shoutout daw from Finn. Sorry, hindi ako makatype ngayon ng mga SO, so ano tayo? Um, manual shoutout. Shoutout, shoutout to our friend Po, Po Elegwain. Shoutout to Finn. Uh, thank you for currently watching our uh, cooking stream. And shoutout to one soy. <laughs> Okay, so ano yan, kahapon parang inabot ako ng 30, 20 to 30 minutes nung sa, ano, sa updating ng mismo software. Ang bilis kasi nung kilad dyan, naka-SSD ko si Shilio. Ay, thank you, Fen. O nga pala, bot ko nga pala. <laughs> Thanks, Fen. Shoutout mo rin sarili mo, kailangan mo shoutout yan. Kung pwede lang akong mag, ano, mag speech to text, so. Ah, uh, uh, 
Exclamation point SO Penella. <laughs> wala, wala tayong speech to text ito. Okay. okay. So, ang goal natin mabalot ang lahat ng to kasi gusto ko talaga magbao ng ano ng pandan chicken bukas. <laughs> Fai talaga, ano, no, tamarind heavy. Kasi sa lahat na ni-research ko talaga, nung trying to get a recipe, ano, uh, talagang tamarind to and through. Kaya nagtataka ako sa grocery, bakit doon sa Thai section, walang tama, walang tamarind. Merong, merong Thai green chili, merong Thai red chili, tapos may Thai curry. Walang tamarind. Tamarind paste, tamarind powder, Kasi dati ang dami nun eh. Pwede ka mamili kung gusto mo ng tamarind paste o tamarind powder. Frustratingly enough, at least, meron namang, meron naman tayong, ano, sarili natin na tamarind. So, no worries naman siya. Yun nga lang, syempre, tulad na ginawa natin kanina, 30 minutes na involved natin. Actually, technically, preparation niya around 2 hours to 3 hours. Kung maghahanda ka ng tamarind Siyempre, ibababad mo muna siya. Parang ano, parang nagagawa ng sinigang. Need to sleep, work is way over. Okay, you you do well and sleep well po. And hope I see you again tomorrow, maybe? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I think we'll roughly end around 10.30 since we're just stir-frying our pad thai after this. If you're waking up again, see you later. If you're not, uh, rest up. <laughs> and hope we see, we see you again tomorrow. I think we're gonna stream a game. Yeah, we're gonna stream a game tomorrow, of course, tomorrow night. As the usual practice is. Fill, just filling up the content for, <laughs> for our channel. Ano naman yan? Bilis lang yan after after a few minutes. Saka matagal sa kanya yung ano, yung pag-apply ng download saka yung pag-decompress. It's a good run. So, medyo marami na tayong medalyas na nababalot. So, salang natin siya sa air fryer in a few minutes before we do the pad thai. So, start tayo with the shrimp heads and skin so igigisa natin siya first and then tanggal tanggal para flavor na oil natin exactly and yung kaya kaya ko ini stream yung screen ni Jen uh, during ano during the stream natin kahapon kasi <laughs> nagda download ako and it's taking so so long para ano Parang nananadya siya na pa-exciting tayo. <laughs> okay, that didn't end up well. So, <laughs> let's redo that again. Medyo malambot yung isa. Medyo malambot yung isa. So, we're gonna wrap it a dif different way. So, one, two, uh, then three. Mahalap ko na kung bakit. It's folded right there. Yeah. Sa gano nga nagbabalot nito, no? Sa mga restaurant. Eh, yung kahapon, <clears throat> naka-stream na talaga ako. Naghihintay na lang sila dyan sa akin. So, nag-one game sila before ako nakapasok. So, ano to? After of... Ay, hindi. Nung isang araw pala to. Nung paglabas nung bagong update. Irritating. Parang alam ng computer mo na ano. <laughs> Gusto mong updated yung mananood sa'yo. 
Hello, Polar Bear Hug. Uh, thank you for coming into the stream. How are you? We're, so we're making pandan chicken in Pad Thai. Pad Thai. So the, the sauce is just waiting there. So we're just wrapping our pandan chicken. We are doing great. I'm actually excited to eat this and excited to bring this to work tomorrow to have it for lunch. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, Finn. Thank you for shouting out Polar Bear Hugs. Oh, it let go. I have to wrap it again. Gingerly have to wrap it again. So we're almost done with this. So once we're done with this, I'm just going to start the stir fry for our pad thai. Which is the main, technically the main star of the stream. But still, of course, pad thai chicken is live. If you haven't eaten pandan chicken, you have to try it. And any good Thai restaurants must have pandan chicken. So we're getting even the small bits because small bits are still meat. You have to eat every single morsel of meat. So we're doing a special pad thai. Uh, we are doing it with chicken and tofu and shrimp. So the shrimp and the chicken are already marinating. It's already on their way to full marination. It's been around 40, no, 20 minutes since we marinated them. So this one is actually marinated at the same time. Oh, we do have crushed pe peanuts. It's already there. <laughs> so we're, I'm cooking half of the crushed peanuts in a sauce. Then uh, setting aside half of the crushed peanuts for the topping. I also have crushed uh, shrimp, so, you know, more flavor. <laughs> so, uh, FYI Polar Bear Hugs, we are doing this uh, stream every Sunday. So we cook every Sunday, maybe game afterwards, then we usually game the rest of the week. So, we do um, horror games, mostly Phasmophobia. So, but now we are cooking. And cooking has been actually a very huge part of the channel before so it's been on our YouTube so we have, we have a YouTube also so for our older recipes of course you can go to our YouTube channel it's in the description it's in the about me page so it's easy to access or it's in the banner so it's in the social so if you want other recipes like IKEA meatballs or any rendition of say chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala or uh, beef kebabs it's already there yes this is pandan we, we wrap the chicken in pandan so it's going to turn out great when we air fry it so it's supposed to be grilled but since we're uh, parched for time we are doing it over at an air fryer so it's still gonna cook quite nice i've already done a multitude of recipes in the air fryer and they've turned out really good so I am quite confident in my uh, personal air fryer. So this is the last one and we are almost done. And starting with our... I don't know how to end this. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to find the spot. Yeah, it's a quite... A, it's a convective uh, cooker. Mostly like a turbo broiler. Yeah. setting this up for the first 20 minutes then I'm gonna check this out every five so that we, we can check if it's burning or not
We're gonna do air gaps in between so that the air can cook the chicken. Of course, because it's an air fryer, hello. <laughs> There you go. You set it up for our air fryer. So now we are cooking it for about 20 minutes at a 200 degrees Celsius in the air fryer. So now, at uh, the moment of truth, so we're setting aside the sauce first, because we have the rest of our pad thai sauce here. So we're setting it aside on a separate bowl. I'm just gonna um, And we're washing this down because we want to stir fry here. So just some water. Okay, we're starting with neutral oils. Heat the pan to a very hot temperature. Okay, it's popping now and we can add neutral food. Lower the heat and evaporate our water first in neutral oil. So first of course, we'll be doing our shrimp heads to get the pongs out of them. We're getting we're getting rid of rid of them afterwards. We're just gonna stir fry them a bit to get the flavor out. So I just got a whiff of the pandan chicken. <laughs> it, 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 uh, it smells so nice. So uh, we are just developing the pond right there so that we can get that flavor into our pad thai. So once that's cooked in and out, so we're just gonna crush the head. Crush the heads to get the last of the flavor out. Of course, because we can. <laughs> Pop it some more. 
and lower the fabric will we don't want to burn the fine. Okay, so we got most of that out. So you can recycle this for soups, but me I'm throwing it out because I I don't have any plans for this anymore. Because that's the best part of the shrimp, and most of us don't even eat them. No, don't even eat the head. So that's burnt enough. So it's actually uh, gas. It's off gassing now. The wonderful uh, scent of uh, our shrimp. So now we can start with the stir fry. So we start with our chicken first. So we are gonna put the chicken, then the shrimp, then afterwards we are gonna stir fry. We're gonna set it aside, so it's just a fast stir fry. Because uh, if you remember, uh, if everyone remembers in the chat, we sliced the chicken very thinly. Of course, thin chicken entails. Yep, I'm gonna do part of the pan with some garlic and incorporate the chicken there later. I'm gonna sear the chicken first, then garlic. Later. Then you have some shrimp, of course. So we're doing our first garlic clove that we sliced very thinly so that it falls apart after we stir fry. Then on one side. So that's around a millimeter. No, that's around half a millimeter per slice. So this is the first part of our garlic. We're just gonna perfume this side of our pan. It's gonna disappear when you crush it like this. There you go. That's how thin they are. You can smell it already. Uh, and put in the chicken. Let's get it. Let's get it to a hotter temperature. So the garlic is actually gonna vanish into the pad thai later. We have three more cloves that we'll be putting in. So for now, let's cook the chicken first. So this was seasoned with a little bit of the pad thai sauce as well. We're gonna increase the heat so that it mayards better. the garlic anymore? Not anymore. <laughs> uh, chef's kiss to that. <laughs> so this is a one pot box so we're not gonna set aside anything. We're just gonna compound uh, half of the pan with uh, meats and half of the pan with the flavors. So we're cooking the shrimp. So again, it's looking time. Flip. <laughs> Let's just show my shit. <laughs> okay, so next. Our chicken is now part cooked. We are now gonna stir fry our sauce. So we're actually gonna cook our shrimp first. But we, we don't want them to overcook, so we're just cooking them for around a few seconds each side. 
And after that, we are putting them on top of the chicken. Before we do the flippy flippy thing again. Would have done a little bit of coconut cream if I had one. Sadly, I didn't. So let's put a little bit of our tamarind sauce on them. So just around a few seconds each side, then you let go. <laughs> it's cooking now, it's already on the Maillard face. So a little more and then good for the rest of the Okay, they're already halfway cooked. Let's turn to the other side. There we go. Wow. So that's what you call shrimp right there. This actually has a little bit of corn starch, that's why it's crusting. Okay, so a little more, a little more. We're gonna turn down our heat because our pan is already burning. A few seconds more and we're going to pop it over on our chicken so that it cooks slower. So we're gonna saute our aromatics on this side. Come on. There we go. Okay, so aromatics on this side. Let's get our neutral oil again. Neutral oil down. And our aromatics are ready. So since I don't have spring onions, I am just using onions. And our leftover garlic. So we're gonna crush the garlic there again. There you go. We're just gonna caramelize our onions while our chicken cooks some more, so on the underside. Then we will be putting our final sauce. No shrimp, you go on top. This will be we'll be putting our tamarind sauce. Huh? <laughs> and so now we can incorporate our aromatics with our meat. Because they've been sitting a while already. So let's take them out first. And just do it by hand, like this. Let's just reduce the fire so that it's not fire, it's induction actually. So Sadly, they're already stuck. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's uh, no, it's rice uh, noodles, but it's been sitting in the counter for so long. Been waiting because I took uh, took took a little bit longer to do the pandan chicken. So we do we're cooking on low so that we don't cook it too much. And I and my table needs a light.
Oops. <laughs> we got one here. batch of noodles down so that it uh, integrates into the sauce. We put some more sauce. <laughs> it needs a lot more rice noodles. That's why I am detangling every single one of them so that we won't waste any. has already solidified that's why. Okay, let's integrate this first. There we go, and oil up the noodles so that they don't stick. Let's try and get some more noodles. See how much that's stuck. I made a mistake earlier earlier of taking them out of the water, right? Okay? You should then take them out of the water before, way before you start cooking. That's how you're gonna get this. I was thinking more like ramen noodles. Which we did a few weeks ago. We did ramen a few weeks ago. ago. Although it was a rush ramen and not the typical ramen. Got one to the floors. Man down. I know away away name Alex. sauce that we have and putting in half of the peanuts you want the crunch in there and some of the hibe french fried hibe Yeah, since we are still uh, entangling our uh, noodles, we actually we actually prepared some egg already. It's ready to be. It's ready to wrap our pad thai. We're just taking too much time with this. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. But I've only, I've only budgeted three eggs for this recipe, so I mm, can't do that right now. Might do that in the future then. Okay, 
Okay, we got most of the noodles out. Just adding some more sauce so that it doesn't uh, stick. We don't have bean sprouts though. So, Saj. The one in the market didn't look that great. So, and it, it smelled slightly of. Uh, we weren't keen on getting it. Pray to, uh, pray to my uh, baon tomorrow. So no more flipping for me because it's gonna uh, it's not I'm not gonna stick the landing I'm sure. Hello Night Sky Agera. Welcome to our stream. So we're of course we're doing Pad Thai. Everyone loves Pad Thai. So we are almost reaching the egg density that we want. So we'll be mixing it in to our pad thai. Get the shrimp on top. A little more heat than your pad thai. Our pad thai is done. Thank you so much, Night Sky Elgar, and welcome to the stream, of course. Okay, so, as you can see, we've already disintegrated the garlic and the onions. It's already in the mix. So, let's just put a little channel in the middle so that we can put our fillings. Okay. So plating, we're just going to plate it in a bowl uh, with our with our fried ingredients. So I'm just going to stir it a little bit to dry it a bit, some more. There we go. I'm gonna fork it over into another bowl.
uh, use a tong and transfer it over. Okay, I'm actually quite far from my streaming desktop, so. But thank you so much. The compliments are accepted. Uh, your compliments uh, make the stream work well. Okay, so I'm I'm taking it now. So it, uh, me and my wife are eating this tonight, and the leftovers will be for me tomorrow, and I will take it to work. Okay. So let's just gingerly transfer everything to a bowl. Until we can just uh, dock, dock it in. There we go. I think I can dunk that in right now. The shrimp should be on top so that we can locate it easily. about our toppings. Of course you got peanuts. Our dried shrimp. Fried dried shrimp. fried um, spring onions that we did earlier to add more crisp. I've been using this for I think the past few uh, streams already. And of course, we can't go without our tofu. Big logs of tofu. Okay, so that is our Of course, we can't forget We don't have lime right now, so we are using lime Since this is a four meal of two, of course. Okay. So I can't wait for the chicken. I'm just gonna clean up first. <laughs> well, well, now that you have instructions, maybe you can cook your own version of pan thai. Okay, so let's just take out everything from the table and wipe it down. We don't want to miss the table when we do. <laughs> yeah, it would. Okay. It's done. Ooh, there's 
char over there. So she's gonna flip it and do five more. Because I still can see white. I'd like to see more brown than white. So. If you'd like to see here this. And it's so, it smells so good. But five more minutes. I think five more minutes will do it justice. Okay. I'm gonna invite my wife over. And remove everything. Remove the hob. Remove everything we cooked with. Wipe everything down again. Wait, congrats on pagtapos na diyan ng pasta. Ah, wait lang, maglilinis lang ako. After me. So, pumuli lang kami ng fire. Okay, that, that, that was the hand of my wife. You guys, sorry, I'm going to make sure I finish it. I need to wipe some more. Okay, so give me a few minutes. Kain lang kami. Okay lang pin mga ano tayo. Uh, 11, kaya ba? Kain lang. what you're having for dinner today. <laughs> Maybe uh, the sauce could be uh, a little bit of patis, a little bit of Thai soy sauce. That's it. That's the perk of uh, using firm tofu. You can cut it. Guess who's not ready for Monday? Us! And there we go. So, yan na muna para pwedeng i keep your iba. Ano yan, Finn? Anong chicken? Huh? Where? Oh, so young. Sana hindi siya scam. Legit seller, oh my god. Ay, talaga. She must be legit. Sige, mix nga legit nga yan. Okay. The pandan is already cracking under my hand. Ay, hindi ko pinigaan. Okay lang. Tiga lang tayo na oro. So the chicken has caramelized inside the pandan. Including the <laughs> including the sauce. So I put uh oh, yeah. 
Medyo white ilang siya. Pero ang daming bumili ng ano nun, reseller. Oo nga eh. Let's check if the chicken is cooked. It's cooked to the what? max. What? <laughs> huh? This is a chicken. Still smoking. Yeah, I should have uh I should have not made uh oh. do this wait longer. Hindi masyadong umawa yung pandan. So, mahap yung chicken. Kamusta naman yung sauce? and then chicken may need a little uh, Thai fish sauce, but that's it. Oh, that's, that's good. Chicken is tender. Pandan wrap, advice you, I advise you not to eat them because it's um when you cook it, it tends to give off more of a. Uh, it actually burns faster, if you can see here. Even if we didn't cook it in fire, it was burning already. So it's there to <clears throat> preserve uh the texture of the chicken. Well, you cook it. Uh, technically, you're cooking it slowly while searing the outside. Though we, since we were we were we weren't using fire, there was less of a sear. Still good. Patis, bagay. Meto ay. Hindi mo alam. Hindi alam ko pero. Meto ay. looking for a mayard just like this so I wish I would have left more more corners open but still delicious okay hope you join us again for repair hug and uh, so I believe it's uh, morning on your side. So have a good day. We are having a good night. And hope I see you on the next stream. din to yung mahal. <laughs> may shrimp pa? Tukot tukot kaya lang may shrimp. Yup, nakakain lang ito. Sarap. Nasa ng shrimp pag nakababad dun sa ano? Tamarind sauce.
Yung yeah, pagsalita habang makain mo sarap. Hmm. You guys watch. My wife is gonna stream um miniature polymer clay. Made from polymer clay, so I hope you watch that one too. It's Omari's studio. Not, no, not today. But not yet. We're still planning. Wait lang, ano meron sa 18? Ay! Hindi ako nag-check ng by Kenny Mentori was busy. May get together? All play groups ba to? Saan yan? Saan yan? sa ng location. Hi, LC. Makain na kami ng pad tayo tsaka ng ano, uh, pandan chicken. Problema na lang sa nang location. <laughs> Or online. Ay, wait. Online to, no? Mga pala, wait lang si LC na saan. Iyo to. Parang gusto ko pa rin, ano? Saan may common food tayo nakakainin during the party? <laughs> Or common drinks? Or there no Korean food? Hmm, good idea. Korean food. Hindi tayo muntu. Si Perth ka nga ba? Landali dito. Nandos na lang. Nandos na lang kasi sa atin naman walang nandos. Hindi nandos na sa kanya dali dito. Parang gusto ko pa dagdagan yung dialogue niya, no? Streambot.
So ano ano, ano parlor games natin nun? Wait lang. Pwede ba pwede ba tayo mag-organize ng parlor games? Bakit nga ba tinawag na parlor games ang parlor games? Kasi sa party siya ginagawa hindi sa parlor. Games. <laughs> Buhay ang stream. Alam nyo, madali lang yan. Sino gusto, sino merong ano, sino nakalaptop naman tayo lahat, di ba? So, naka-desktop naman tayo lahat, di ba? Ako, ako na bahala dun sa ano, uh, ang tawag dito. Keep talking and nobody explodes. <laughs> May parlor game yan. Bring me. Bring me. Bring me. Bring me. Bring me. Bring me. Bring Ano siya, meron siya puzzles, tapos teams of two or teams of three. Yung isa, siya yung magdi-diffuse. Sarap. Patigas lang yung dudulas ko, pero masarap. Ano to? Made with, with ano? Made with Philippine Sampalok instead na yung Thai na ano, Sampalok. So medyo matamis siya. So yun, hmm. dalawa yung mag-i-instruct doon sa nagdi-diffuse. Tapos syempre si Dick nagdi-diffuse isa lang. So yung nag-i-instruct, ang meron lang sila PDF. Wala sila nakikita kayo ba kundi yung PDF na yun. Tapos i-describe nung nagdi-diffuse kung ano yung puzzle. Si Simon says, o kaya, ano siya, it's the puzzle with the five letters. I-describe mo, tapos hanapin nila doon sa manual yun. Nasa akin yung manual doon, don't worry. Kaya ko siya isend sa inyo. Sa... Tapos ko kontrolin niyo lang yung computer ko. Isi-stream ko lang sa inyo. <laughs> Tapos i-stream natin siya sa ano, sa Twitch para ano, mapapanood din ng iba na hindi naglalaro. Iba. <laughs> ano ko na mag-ano tayo? Gawin natin. Either kada isang Uh, person or kada isang playgroup mag-suggest na isang game kasi sila yung mag-host ng game What do you think? Para hindi rin ano hindi rin pressure sa isa lang kasi sila gusto yung mag-host ayun yung mag-host na ano gawin natin parang program talaga <laughs> nakakamiss na kasi magkaroon ako sa party na group may program Bukas na naman yun, off-peak hours. So, hindi rin gano'ng gano kalaki yun mm-hmm. dahil yun, napatay naman yun. Mm-hmm. Desktop. Mm-hmm. 
Peanuts. Ito, <laughs> bawal ito sa mga ano. Pinasusok laman ni Uncle Roger. Mga may peanut allergy. Richard Bam, we're just in time for dinner. Siyempre, may mirror lang nila kung ano yung vibes na nadetect nila sa'yo. Diba nga? Oops! <laughs> may, may takot sa lemon. I'm sorry, baby. Okay. So, 
We're taking a break, so... What's <laughs> 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 the So we're going to end the stream now uh, in a few minutes. So again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for viewing. Hope you enjoyed our pad thai and um, pandan chicken uh, stream. Oh, I think it's a girl. What's that? It's a girl. So of course, if you want to support oh, the channel, this one, I think it's a boy. you can of course subscribe and follow our Twitch channel and subscribe to oh, our YouTube channel. This Where? Is a boy. I'm I'm boy. Oh, boy. So we are not using that currently that uh, buy me a coffee link for now because we are have I, it's have they are having. is uh always try to get into the enclosure for our uh, newborn. our newborns newborn cats kittens hmm. she thinks she is their mom no so again of course you can support the channel by subscribing to our youtube where we will be uploading our future episodes uh, and our past live streams also, you can support us uh, by uh, going to our Discord. Uh, there's an invite link uh, behind the Picture of Tani Kitchen logo in the About Me page. And also, if you want to support the channel by any monetary means, uh, you can use the link through our PayPal um, in, the, in the description. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. Sorry, I, I am uh, quite a distance away from the keyboard. So it's uh, a little harder to type. It's like this outstretched already. So I'm just gonna shout out manually everyone in the stream. So Fen, uh, Elsidius, Richard Bam. Uh, okay. Polar Bear Hug. Uh, uh, Night Sky Agera. Of course, Poetic Wine, <laughs> and of course, Omari Studios for uh, contributing to the Feels Challenge, so I think we'll be uh, 
We need the challenge. Oh, do tayo sa Discord ko. Was this stream ka? So we're just gonna clean up for a bit and uh, go to fast move. So I'm just gonna pack my food uh, and Mabel's food for tomorrow, and uh, do do a little washing because we have a lot of dishes to watch to wash. Uh, Ayan, donator siya 4,000 ono. Yay! Ono, oh, may daily donor na tayo. Ano din siya na ano. Rockets ka na. So guys, thank you for watching. And see you on the stream later. So I'm not gonna read for now. <laughs> because we are still gonna stream. <laughs> Sobrang betrayal talaga nitong ano na to. Tingnan mo yung, ano, yung screen cap. Sobrang betrayal niya. Masampalok yun. Nakakainis. <laughs> Mukha silang... Hmm. Okay, sige. Uh, ano lang ka? Oh, Herschel Ward has subscribed to our YouTube channel officially. So we are now at 155 subscribers. Huh? So, sa ano? Sa YouTube. YouTube, so thank, thank you, boy, the wine. We'll be back in a bit. I'm just ending this stream and just washing up a little bit, and we'll be back. So, see you on the next stream. I know, 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 I for quite a, quite a few times already. Thank you, thank you guys. See you.